Hey you guys, it's Teresa with One Heart Bible Ministries and it is Truth Tuesday, which means we are going to journal a central biblical truth into our Bibles that we want future generations to glean from. And today we're going to be doing some more acrylic flowers because you know I'm in a floral state of mind and so we're going to be doing a kind of a little vine floral thing. And I cannot even believe that I have not journaled this verse in my Bible yet. I guess the Lord was saving it for us to do together. And it is from Lamentations. And it's really cool because the first of the year I was thinking about doing this um, scripture memory kind of a program. And I thought, Lord, you know, I can enter into a lot of good things. And if this is something you want me to do, just show me the verse that I need to start with. and. This came to mind immediately, and it is Lamentations 3, 22. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Now, the cool thing about this verse, although it has come to mind so many times since I've committed it to memory, is I didn't realize until I started studying for this, to do this with you guys, that the Hebrew term that is used for the steadfast love is an all-encompassing term that includes love, mercy, truth, forgiveness, faithfulness, goodness, grace, and compassion. All that in that little, all that, all that. Now, the whole book of Lamentations is basically Jeremiah lamenting about the fall of Jerusalem and talking about all the destruction and all the horrible things. And then basically he comes in here and he says, but the steadfast love, the mercy, the forgiveness, the truth, the love, the compassion, the faithfulness, the goodness, the grace, all those things, it never ends. The love of, the, of God for us in all of those things endures all things. So I thought that is just makes this verse all the more cool to me to think about it in that grand of a scheme. And so we are going to do another floral today um, just because it's beautiful. That whole verse is just beautiful and we're going to just try to um, to encompass the idea that it, it is new every morning. I have gone ahead and drawn my vine with just a little black um, micron pen, but we're going to basically, we're going to go over it with greenery and I'm using wax paper today as my palette and I'm going to start out, I don't know if you can see this, I'm just going to kind of go over this, this black line, even though you'll be able to see it through it, the black will actually give it a little bit more definition if it shows through, we'll be able to see it a little bit more, so I'm going to um, just kind of go over that with the green. I have put two different colors of green on this. And I'm going to dip. I've got a rounded brush. I'm going to dip into that. And I think I'm just going to start with this dark green coming in and doing, pressing some leaves onto my vine. And I'm just going to start like this and then we'll fill in later. But um, this, like I said, this there's no part of this that needs to be perfect because it's going to be covered with flowers. This is just kind of laying the groundwork. I also, I'll go ahead and show you guys. You can, if you want to, use the lighter green, like drag into the dark and then do just a tip of the of the lighter green and kind of put them together. Put the two colors on one, or you can do it this way and then come back and do a little lighter streak in it, or just do some lighter leaves on top. So, you know, it does no rhyme or reason. Leaves are vari variegated, and this is too. Alrighty, now it's time for the flowers. Once again, super duper simple stuff here, y'all. I've got um, kind of a darker pink, a medium pink, and a lighter pink, and I'm going to mix it up here and there different ways so that my flowers are kind of variegated. There's that word again. 
All right, I'm gonna put one, hope you can see this, right here. I'm gonna do five petals, I think on most of them. And I'll come in and, you know, where I think I need to add a color on top of something or I need to add more, I'll come in and do that some as we go along. I don't know what kind of flowers this is. You know, I, I've, I'm gonna show you though, um, I'm gonna show you when I'm done. I've done a page like this in the purple blue flowers and I, this was not my idea. Now, I, the girl I saw do a, she actually did a um, canvas like this. She has a YouTube channel, I think it's called Be Creative. And um, she, um, Oh man, she's got some really pretty stuff, but she did it in the purple and blue, and I tried it in that first. And since I already have a page like that, I just wanted to go ahead and do the pink to show y'all how to do it. I have put all the flowers that I want to put on here, and I could have done it a lot more full, but I just kind of think it looks real fresh with a lot of greenery. So now, you can, for your middles, you can use yellow, or you can use white, or you can use both. And I think I'm gonna use, start out with yellow and decide if I want both. This is just a really fine tip. Here, and I'm just gonna put a few little dots in here. Yeah, I think I kinda do like the yellow on this. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm usually partial to white, so I don't know. Should I try one in white and see if I like it better? I'm gonna mess it up, aren't I? Y'all don't let me mess it up now. I feel like sometimes I need y'all just to, to like scream through my camera. No, stop! You're going too far, you're gonna mess it up. Okay, I got all my little yellow thingies in there and we need to do some lettering. I have really contemplated about whether to use my own handwriting, but I think for the main part I found these stickers and they're really scripty looking. Is that a word? Scripty looking? So we're going to try that and I think I should have enough to put new every morn right here. And we'll see how that goes in just a second. We'll know if it's going to work. If not, I'll be trying to use my messy handwriting. Okay, y'all, so I have gotten I have gotten the lettering done with those Walmart sticko stickers. Let me show you what the package looks like. It looks like that. I think they were 99 cents. And, but now I want to put His Steadfast Love Endures Forever going up this side. And I want those words that we've found out um, Steadfast Love stands for. I want to put those in my vine somewhere, so let's let's do that. Okay, before I show you our final page, final page with all the lettering done, I wanted to show you what it looks like in another color. So this is in the purple and blue, which I had done earlier in my Bible, and um, just wanted to let you see the possibilities are endless. This could be just a, a small border on one end or down the side, you know, whatever you want to do. And if these kind of videos are helpful to you and kind of help you come up with your own creativity and things to do in your Bible, let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know if there's other things you'd like to see us do, and we'd like to get to them if we can. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, we would love to have you subscribe, and um, like I said, I feel like I get to know everybody when that comments. Here it is, final lettering. If you ever get to a point where you've misjudged how much room you were going to have, you can always stamp it with an amen. Amen? Amen. It fits for everything. And we've got his steadfast love endures forever, new every morn. And I love the fact that we have all these things that his steadfast love represents to us in the vine. So we've got truth, mercy, love, compassion, forgiveness, goodness, grace, faithfulness, all of those things he gives us freely and it never, ever never ceases. So I hope you have a fantastic blessed week and hope to see you later on in the week. Bye!